Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we have the Mars Levitating Speaker from Crazy Baby. Mars was originally founded from a Indiegogo campaign that did really well, and now it's finally hit the market. They say this is the first levitating speaker with a subwoofer. This is not the first levitating speaker overall, but the first one to include a whole dedicated subwoofer. When you get one of these yourself, the first thing that I noticed was, wow, that box is a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. It's also quite heavy. Mars had this whole custom packaging created down to every detail, including how long it takes for that top of the box to settle over the rest of it as you're putting it together. But really, once you get it out of here, you don't really need the packaging any longer, but it is a really nice box, so I guess they have that going for them. When you take the top of the box off, the first thing you'll see is the top portion, which is the actual speaker itself, and that's known as the Mars Craft, and below that is the Mars Base Station. Below everything else, we do have a few more things hiding in the bottom, but nothing really that fun to see. We have basically an instruction manual and some basic information on the product that you're looking at, as well as another box that contains the power adapter. So the top part again is really the main part of this product. This is the actual speaker itself, which is fairly standard size. It's also made out of aluminum. It has this omnidirectional speaker on the top and on the bottom, there's a power button to turn it on and off. There is this metal ring, which is going to touch with the contacts and allow it to charge when it docks itself on the base station that sits below it. I'm sure it is no coincidence that this looks pretty much like a UFO and it looks like a UFO, you know, hovering and landing as it's raising and lowering on the base station itself. As far as some specs on the Mars craft, it does feature that magnetic levitation to allow it to rise and lower on the base. It has eight hours of continuous playback built in thanks to that battery has omnidirectional microphones inside so you can use it for speakerphone or conference calls, and it has IPX7 waterproof rating which means you can have it underwater for 3 feet for a little bit less than 30 minutes. It's also magnetic, which besides the levitation, which is really cool if you're taking it on the go because you can stick it to either your fridge or your bike or wherever you have it because this thing is you know, waterproof, dustproof, and it's made out of aluminum so it's really meant to take a beating as you're taking this with you. The downside, obviously, though, is if you're just taking the top of this, you're losing a lot of that base that you would get from the subwoofer. Now, to put this together, I guess, if you want to put some air quotes around that, you simply place the Mars craft on top of the Mars base station. Now, the Mars base station looks not unlike a Mac Pro. It looks actually shockingly like that. On the back, you'll have some LEDs to let you know the battery life two USB outputs to charge your phone or tablets as you're on the go, a power button, as well as the power jack that you plug the power adapter into. When you power it on, you'll notice three lights. You'll notice the power button, the lights on the top there, those little the progress lights, and there is a light around the front to let you know that it's on if you're looking at it just from the front side. So specs on this giant black subwoofer, you've got the powerful subwoofer that's built inside of it, which is really nice because a lot of the levitating speakers lack a lot of that base. And those two USB ports for charging your devices is really handy. Um, most barely even have one, this has two. So if you do truck this bottom part with you, you still can charge those. Or if you just have this on a desk, it allows you to charge things while this is plugged in. Now I'm not gonna lie, it's still awesome after all this time watching this thing take off and that disc hover. This is really a conversation piece and that's where a lot of that price is gonna come in. Not only is it a pretty decent speaker, but it looks really cool. Crazy Baby says that the levitating also helps the audio quality because normally a speaker would lose some of those vibrations, those audio signals into the hard surface they're sitting on, but now because there's nothing underneath of it, it's allowing it to have more full audio. Granted, when it comes down to it, I don't really know if that's the case. It sounds like marketing lingo to me, but I really didn't have too many complaints when it came to audio quality until you get to the really high end. This thing does put out 360 degree sound, so no matter where you're sitting, you're still gonna get great sound. You don't have to worry about the speaker facing a certain direction, so this can go squarely in the middle of the table or wherever you have it. Aside from the great audio performance and the really cool levitating speaker, my other favorite feature is this power out for charging devices. This comes in so handy and I like to have this just sitting on the table, great conversation piece, and I always have outlets available to charge my phone. You can either leave the Mars completely plugged in using the actual power adapter, 
or once it's fully charged, you can simply plug your phone in and you don't even have to have this charging. So let's talk about the sound quality. I think it's really good, except for on the really high end, but this does get exceptionally loud. They say it goes up to about 75 decibels, which is louder than I would ever need it here in my apartment. And when I did crank it up that high, it was a little distortion coming out of the tweeter, but I would never do that. So it actually works really well for me. And it also uses aptX, so it has really great quality uh, transferring that over over Bluetooth, which actually supports Bluetooth 4.0. This also comes with an accompanying app. It features 3D touch on newer devices to allow you to play your music or land or take off the craft so you can raise or lower it from your phone. There are a bunch of other things you can control in here well and they're all designed really nicely. Like the levitation control, aside from using 3D touch, you can actually kind of swipe your finger up and down and adjust it that way. There are also options for the encompassing light belt. Basically, you can choose how many lights you have rotating around. So one, two, three, or four. I think the light looks really cool, so I would just put it on four just so you can have more of them swirling around. But if you don't like it, you can also adjust the brightness. So a lot of people hate lights staring at them. So if you do want to, you can just go ahead and lower this a little bit or just all the way turn that light off. There are also a lot of EQ options, which is really handy. There's just standard ones that you can put in, but they have crazy EQ, which dynamically adjust based on the type of music that you're listening to. Or you can come in here and manually tune this to whatever your taste or preferences may be. Another feature that I liked a lot is auto volume. Now this I didn't get to test out too much because I was always fairly close to this, but when you have this enabled, based on how far you are away from this device, it'll determine how loud it is. Lastly, there are two more options in here. One is double up. This allows you to use two Mars speakers in tandem and create a 2.1 surround sound. And then there's multi-point, which allows you to connect to multiple of these at once from different devices. So you can take turns playing your favorite music. So we're coming up to the summary here. Overall, this is a really awesome speaker. Sound is fantastic. A lot of people compared this to even some of the Bose speakers, which I know a lot of people don't like the Bose speakers, but it sounds really comparable to them, uh, except for on that really, really loud end. This is really awesome that you can just take that top off and carry it with you. It's got charging built in. It's made out of aluminum. It's waterproof and sandproof, so you can really put that top through its paces. If you'd like, you can pick one up for 320 some dollars, though it is a bit high. To make it convenient, we've obviously put a link down below. You can read our full written review over on IDB. Please subscribe so we can keep making more videos for cool products. And until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadVlog.